friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 1st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to March Madness. As we march towards spring, and as well, marching into solar cycle 25, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, still some pretty bright and active regions turning in right now, and as well, one earth facing and a few, a few plasma filaments laying across the surface of our sun, looking last 48 hours incoming. Only major event to talk about was the C-class solar flare from yesterday, and as well a backside CME just recently. Not, you can't really see it here in the outgoing position. Last couple images there, watch on the right-hand side plasma filaments lifting. Looking at multi-spectrum here, dark region in the center being coronal holes, now earth facing. And as well, looking down here, you can see those plasma ropes just laying and entangled across the surface of the sun right now. Let's hope that they stay in place. Looking at 171 angstroms here, you can really see coronal holes, the dark black regions that are forming along the equator of our sun. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today and, and as well always to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Almost 49,000 strong. Looking at Lasco 3, here this is where you can see the backside CME that did take off from our sun. And that was in an outgoing position, but showing on the bottom right-hand side there, the activity being thrown into outer space. Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, still only showing the solar flare from yesterday, right at BEPI. But you can see the enhancement in the solar wind stream that it shot out into. We will be expecting that around March 9th. Looking at our pressure planes right now, compared to yesterday, our solar winds are sitting up over 500 kilometers per second, if not more than that now, or they were. So they're sitting at about 518 kilometers per second, jumping up to about 544, the maximum solar wind speed today, 544 kilometers per second. Looking at solar X-ray flux remains in B firing range and as well geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated KP3. Other than that, no major space weather events to talk about. Looking at Schumann resonance for today, a power of 19 and 27. Just saw that recent spike here in the last couple hours. Energies are high, amplitude of 27, quality of 8.1 power of 19. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours with the largest that started early today 5.8 Kermadec Islands is the largest the last 24 hours at a 10 kilometer depth this was a pretty active region today after those deep earthquakes yesterday and we saw some more today another one here 581 kilometer depth 88 kilometer depth. Oh, that was Tuol, Indonesia. Uh, Ohanua, Tong Tonga region as well, seeing the 5.1. And Lavuka, Fiji, 4.4, 539 kilometer depth. So expect, still, we can expect some larger shallow earthquakes to follow. There's the Tuol, Indonesia, 4.6. And as well, Gorontolo, Indonesia, 4.5. Singaparna, Indonesia, 4.9, 72 kilometer depth, as well a 5.1 there, in northern Indonesia, North Sumatra. 4.3 here in Davila, Philippines, 10 kilometer depth, and moving right up the west ring of fire here, Naha, Japan, 4.8. 4.5 there, Shikotan, Russia, 10 kilometer depth, as well at two station, just recently seeing a 5.2 earthquake that did send out a tsunami watch. 
no tsunami is imminent. Looking across the United States, largest across North American soil was the 3.5 here, Mena, Nevada. Quite a bit of activity into California. Oja, 2.5 there. And it is swarming now. 3.1 Western Colorado, 2.7 Mexico City. Or White City, New Mexico, sorry. Having a quick look here at the small earthquake swarm that is occurring in central California. Oja, California. Eight kilometer depth as well, right along that ridge line. San Andreas Fault lighting up. Seeing a lot of activity through Los Angeles today as well. Looking at about eight minor earthquakes around Los Angeles today from Lugan Laguna Beach to San Pedro, California, MacArthur Park, California. California is the hot spot today for earthquakes. As well, 5.3 here in San Cristobal, Mexico, 48 kilometer depth, and just west there, 4.5 East Pacific rise. Large earthquake here to report 3.9 Dominican Republic and as well Cruz Bay, U.S. Virgin Islands seeing a 3.8. Very quiet South American plate, quiet African plate as well as Azerbaijan 4.2 and a 4.2 here in Zevernaya Zemla at a 10 kilometer depth. North Pole. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. A quick look and reference to the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Whole lot of shaking going on. We're sitting up over 330 earthquakes across the USGS map. Last 24 hours. A lot of activity there through Central America. And a bit concerning seeing all these deep earthquakes in Fiji, Tonga. Very active Indonesia plate. And increased activity up through Russia and Rat Islands, Alaska, Attu Station, just recently with that 5.2 earthquake. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's have a look, quick look at our Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated as well as satellite imagery across the world. Starting out here with Sabankaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. As you can see there, a tsunami watch was put out for Alaska, BC, U.S. coast. Raventador in Ecuador, Sangue in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Fuego, Guatemala, Talica, Nicaragua, As well, Nevadas to Chilean, Colombia. Semeru, Indonesia. Popo in Mexico. Extreme cold warnings across Canada still. Winter is not over yet. Let's have a quick look around the world as we still have flood alerts across central United States and southeast, northeastern all around the Mississippi, up into Kentucky, flood warnings. As well, there's uh, already a wildfire being reported north of Yuba City, California. That was reported yesterday. You might have some relief coming there, a little bit of moisture coming in, long range forecast. Avalanche there to report Pacific Northwest. And then flood alerts straight across Mississippi and up into Michigan. Looking across the Pacific Ocean. Australia seeing stormy weather across the southeastern and as well northwestern. Now with a cyclone on its doorstep. Tropical cyclone Anika is alive and making landfall tonight. Tropical cyclone Vernon not affecting humanity at all, heading straight south to the Antarctic. As well, there is another cyclone heading towards Madagascar that might help here with the southern 
Madagascar drought that they're currently going through. As well as some strong storm conditions and floody conditions through United Kingdom, up into Eastern Europe, Latvia. And as I said, extreme cold conditions continue here through Canada, Nunavut, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Let's have a quick look at the forecast for temperatures over the next few days, as it is quite a roller coaster. Watch the cold temperatures swing down, swing back up with our sun. But it's definitely going to dip down to some extreme cold temperatures across the United States. Central Plains of Canada into Northern Ontario and as well Quebec. And it looks like it's going to be hanging around for the long range forecast here. Right up until next Thursday. Temperature swing. Quick look around the world here. Across North America, home base, Ontario. As we do have an Alberta Clipper heading into the province over the next 24 hours. It's going to bring a dusting of snow, probably five centimeters in some areas, but it will be a blustery condition as the strong winds will be accompanied with it. But then watching this big system coming out of Colorado, Colorado low developing. And then by Friday, Saturday, watch for that to encroach up into Eastern United States and Ontario, bringing extreme weather heavy rains, and snow on the backside of that big system with the next cold front coming through. So as I said in yesterday's report, winter is still not over, and it is evident here with this forecast. Watching stormy conditions move through the Mediterranean up into Istanbul, as well as strong winds heading into the United Kingdom over the next couple days. Pretty big system heading into Greenland and Iceland as well. Heavy snowfall for parts of southern Greenland. Having a look here at the tropical systems, you do have Vernon here. And as well, long-range forecast, not named storm yet. But it looks like Monday into Tuesday, we'll be making landfall. Eastern Madagascar as quite possibly a Category 2 cyclone. But the forecast shows it diminishing pretty quick. As well, watching over Australia, southeastern parts, stormy conditions continuing, and as well, northeastern up until Wednesday or Thursday. Tropical cyclone Anika, Anika, affecting northwestern parts, as well, a pretty big system here moving through North Pacific, heading into Alaska for the long range. So, watch for heavy snowfall. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be very heavy at times through parts of Paraguay, Bolivia, Lima, Peru, and as well Brazil. Daily evaporation rains through South Africa. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems that are spinning across our planet right now. Much love to everybody. Peace, love, and prayers for humanity during these times. Really appreciate you tuning in every day, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. See you next video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.